boy. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'll let you know which decision I pick. Uh, and then do I'll turn playthrough and show you on uh, the playlist. Uh, what happened? You go to either way. Uh, the problem I have, I'm having with Telltale lately is like uh, the Walking Dead episode three, and now this one. It's just there's barely any gameplay. It's just so much dialogue. Like you're just sitting here waiting for next option click. Uh, hmm. Lucky Pawn is uh, for Beauty, aka Clementine, or the Butcher Shop for Kenny. Well. I think I'm gonna go butcher shop. I want to know what I'm delivering. <sighs> yeah, we'll go butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could? help us out what do you mean well maybe you can make this all just go away we would really appreciate it what do you say can you help us out you're asking me to kill him aren't you is that what you think i do uh, no of course not i don't know how you get that idea we just we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of fable town I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <laughs> Alright, Clem and Kenny. <laughs> They'll remember that. <laughs> I'll, I'll handle the business. My way. No smoking. That's a suggestion. Just keep smoking, because I'm a I'm a jerk. I changed my words last minute there. Cold drinks. <laughs> huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. No, no, don't ring the bell. We're gonna sneak our way in here. Oh, 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. Sleepy wolf. Making sure your table worked. <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? Are you interested in a particular cut? I would like a pack of smokes, please. <clears throat> <laughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> what you see is what you get. We're gonna do Jack Bauer intimidation. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. You better stop fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. I can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I. Sheriff, I... Were you hiding, Butcher? Did you hear that? I heard nothing. Oh my gosh, it's a trap. It's a button. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. It's a trap. Uh-oh. Shit. Silent alarm. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. 
just gonna be quiet. Look, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? I have a feeling quick action is gonna come very soon. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. Hmm. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. I heard I enough. Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. You lied to me in the front. Why the fuck should I believe you now? Because it's the truth. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Alright. Don't hear anything. Oh my god, what are we about to witness? We're about to see something gnarly, aren't we? Is this a meth lab? Is Mr. White in here? Heisenberg, I knew it was you, crooked man. What the hell is all this? Who have you been chaining, chaining up there? What is this place? Because I like wearing I chains. You, Big I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Run. Warning lights. <gasps> this business. You helped them escape. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? I am getting angry. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? I really want to tie him to these chains. See what kind, how it feels to be shackled and how great it is. Jeez. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. 
Sure, I would like necks in it. I like to rip off chains when I'm a beast. My gosh, it's really hot in my room. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear and slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. Oh boy. He's got his hooks into everybody. And it's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... he's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Where? The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is going to be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. You won't have to worry, yo. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh. Now I wonder what's the consequences for me um, showing Butcher Shop before I showed up to the pond. Be interesting. <laughs> 